so Richard McCants was on his usual tirade. Don't even know um, how they get to some of this stuff, but they asked him how he felt about Jokic and how he felt about the Gasol brothers, the comparison. Oh, between no. No, yeah. Jokic Jesus. and the Gasol brothers. So please, please, please assist me. Please. Uh, producers. I got a lot of NBA dudes blocked, so apparently I can't just find this clip off the top of my head. Um, essentially, he said that the, the, the Gasol brothers were better than um, Jokic. Jokic. Were better than Jokic. Filibuster real quick, Damo, because I need you to get it. How do you feel about what he said? Because I know you saw what he said. I did see what he said, and I highly disagree with that clown um, that clown Mentality and oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it makes it There you go. I got it, man. Jokers ain't it. better than the Gasol brothers. Uh, I'm putting more. I'm putting. I'm just, just all around. Just both mm. of them because was so good. They was ahead of their time. Park it. It was ahead of their time. Mm. You can park it. I play. Nah, I you play can compare with, it. I hey, play with if Mark. You, if you play basketball and you've seen them too, and yeah, I've seen you them. watched them. I've seen them. You can park that. Like talking about Jokic, where you think he got it no, from? I played Mark. Where Mar- you think he got it from? No, I played. I played with Mark. Play Mar- Mark was good, but you can park that. He was. Jokic was just more advanced. Nah. He's just more. He, was, he ain't even doing different moves than they was doing. He don't need to. He don't need to. Because the defense is worse. Like I said. Because who you going against? Like I said, you can park that. Paul and Mark going against each other. You can park I that. I seen Paul Gasol give work to real defender. I seen Paul Gasol become a beast after he played with Kobe. No, nah, you because yeah. you didn't watch the game before that. Okay. Nigga. Okay. <laughs> they didn't have cable. Hey, I'm overseas. sorry, Rashad. I they, didn't have, they didn't have cable overseas. Okay, like yeah. I said. I mean, yeah. 08, yeah. what you said? 08? Are you talking about Memphis? 07, 08? Memphis? Memphis? Huh? Joke is That's dirty how you tried to throw that they didn't have cable overseas because he went. Rashad McCants, I ain't going to lie. That's the one nigga that played pro ball. Who is like anybody who ain't playing pro ball can really say shut the fuck up. Like, all right, guy, yeah, like you play real high level college basketball, but not even you have done the shit that these NBA players that you are talking about or talking to have done. Like, you're not even qualified to sit at the table you at, my nigga. So, like, I, honestly, a lot of niggas can tell them shut the fuck up. That's crazy. That is crazy. And I love that we're getting so many former pro ball players talking basketball now and saying the most dumbest shit so we can abolish this because I played, I know more logic. Because obviously a lot of you niggas don't know more. You really don't. You think you know more. You tried harder. I will say that you tried that basketball harder than a lot of people. You don't know the game. I don't. Maybe I am too obsessed with how other people think sometimes. I don't know how. I don't know how there's people alive that 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 have a brain and hear some of these players talk basketball and they're like holy grail i i don't know how the hell that because he knows how to play basketball that his opinions on basketball must be gospel without any contradiction without the simple one-to-one logic that should have been a one hit a quarter of okay so every player agrees on everything, right? And that didn't happen. It's like, holy shit. It's like, it's like maybe, may, maybe some of these guys don't know what they're talking. I don't know how some people exist. <laughs> and I, I'm saying that in a nice way. I know that's going to sound egotistical. I know it's going to sound arrogant. And I apologize. I don't want to be either of those things. But I truly don't know how those people exist when – People like Rashad can say what he says, and then I'm certain. Yo, yo, that that Jokic motherfucker. Like, I, I, like I, I'm certain those comments are down there. Oh, yo, yo, that Mo- Jokic motherfucker. He would have fucked up Kobe's success or some shit like that. I just don't know how. I don't even know how it exists. It's obviously a bad take. We all know it's a bad take. Only, only people who die on the cross. That hey, bro. If they hooped, they know more than me, so I must disagree. It is what it is, bro. I, I, I don't know how. I don't know how they, they exist. Omar, go ahead. I don't know how they exist. It's pathetic. And I mean, I don't. I mean, there's obviously more to the clip, but I just don't even understand why they're not forced to give their their actual opinion. Like, what's the line? 
Nah, I, I know what I, we know what it is. I mean, we make, we create content. Let me show this one. Cruz sent it. It's one thirty four. If you call and you in Memphis, it, Memphis Gasol, what the fuck? Hey, you don't even know what he's talking about. Here's, here's, I hate when people do this too. Toronto, okay. Hey, here's, what's the difference? Hey, what's the difference? What's the difference, what's the difference? What's the difference there? Did you watch him? Did you watch him? Yes. Did you watch Chris Bosh? Did Chris, you watch Chris Bosh? Chris Bosh was my class. He was my class. Okay. The same, they was the, same, the same. They was the same before they got with who they was. No, they were. We was. Yes, they were. Okay, that didn't add nothing. I just. I hate the fact that they're not forced to elaborate. Maybe in the longer clip they are. He just doesn't. It's because it, he played. He doesn't have to explain himself. He just doesn't add anything to the conversation. And, you know, I'm in the comment section with, like, a lot of the, 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 the viewers and stuff like that. And a theme that's constant is, like, brand trust. Brand trust. Um, at some point you lose brand trust with your viewer because they can no longer look to you for reputable facts, you know, uh, uh, uh logical opinions. Um, even if you're wrong, cause like, you know, Damo might have a different opinion than me and I could be wrong, but it's my opinion and I can elaborate on what my opinion is then okay like that's a different conversation but if we just sit here and create an environment in which you just say stuff you don't elaborate um and your elaboration when given doesn't make any sense you lose trust with the audience and that shit is a turnoff like that that shit is a total turnoff and i'll give y'all this i think it's a difference because i tune in every once in a while with um you know them and and their podcast whatever i try to you know watch a little bit of everybody's it's a it's a difference when Kenyon martin and gilbert are there versus when Kenyon gilbert and richard are there or or gil and richard are there it's a difference it's a total difference the conversations that's are right. different that's and right. that's a bad that's a bad thing to 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 have going forward for your product yeah i even see people in chat making a joke of shorts tuber that's low-key y'all already know behind the scenes i've already expressed this my one thing with shorts for a long time and i've just learned to bite the bullet because that's the name of the game unfortunately i my one problem with shorts especially in my own community because i have a lot of anime hot takes and some takes that i think shouldn't be hot is you can't explain yourself fully in a minute all the time but when i hear these clips even these clips and these clips just clearly don't go anywhere <laughs> like, like clearly don't go anywhere and then i'll go to even the the original content itself i'll do the research and it didn't go anywhere it, it, it's I'll like wow it's like wow so the lack of explanation like like for example, for my for my weebs out there, I'll, I'll here I'll give you an NBA hot take and a weeb hot take. Uh, with the weeb hot take, Neji Neg wasn't fucking right; he was wrong. And for for uh, basketball, Kobe's the goat, right? Let's just say I say those two shits, and then Omar and Damo disagree with me, and I'm just yelling at them the whole time. That's completely different than, and let's say I'm I'm wrong twice. Let's say that that's completely different than if they're 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 yelling at me the whole time, and I'm like, all right, but let hear me out, hear me out. Neji Neg Neg was wrong because da 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 da. Um, fucking Kobe was the goat because da da da. Even if it's flawed logic, at least I have an explanation. It's not when Neji ne went wrong. Uh, Neji was a bucket, eight trigrams. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe the goat. What you mean, bro? Uh, he he scored the ball anything any way he could. Like like not surface level shit. Uh, like not not getting louder. Not turning the gain up on my mic. Not taking off the fucking filter. Like it's. <sighs> I don't know how this shit is gone, bro. Sorry for that mic rape. I know I haven't put this shit back. No, you're good. <laughs> um, that nigga's a clown. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what else there is to say. Y'all kind of hit the nail right on the head in terms of Rashard McCants. The nigga's a clown. Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, I really, and Omar, you really did open my eyes to something. The conversations are, because I do peep in to what Gilbert says, because Gilbert's entertaining. Even if I don't agree with what he's saying, I still find Gilbert entertaining. 
And I like to hear from Brandon Jennings because I, I grew up on a mixtape era and Brandon Jennings is a mixtape legend. I grew up on Brandon Jennings. Sure. I grew up watching Kenya Martin. I know what Kenya Martin used to do. The numbers might not be in his favor from a historical standpoint 15, 20 years. I remember what Kmart was on the court. So I, I respect his opinion on basketball. Plus, I fuck with his son to um, play pro. Wish he could get a better opportunity. So I, I, I want to hear what he's talking about. I love the guests they bring on. And when they bring the WNBA players or women pros, they have some dope-ass conversations. This nigga Rashard McCants is just awful, bro. Like, Man. I don't know a situation where he's been on the right or where he's been liked or where he's been spitting. Like, even when it comes to a nigga like me or people who hot take hunt or 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 people who just say, wow, throw everything at the wall and wait for something to stick. Nigga, nothing has stuck. Like, when nothing sticks, you got to rein in. When I'm throwing shit at the wall and I realize nothing sticks, rein it in. Let's, let's, let's. Let's pass it to others. Let's be a good teammate. This nigga literally takes the concept of if I'm shooting 0 for 5, I'd rather finish 0 for 30. And he always finishes 0 for 30. And it's like, all right, nigga, eventually you got to realize you're shooting 0 for 30. Like, let somebody else shoot. This ain't your sport, bro. Yeah, like, nigga, this is not your game. Rebound, nigga. Like, stop shooting. Rebound. Go play some defense. Nah, I think the last take I agreed on with McCants – is the championship or ring thing and that's just like one of the most two-sided debates of all time it's this is no no middle ground even on this pod you had to pick a side sage I'm like my nigga you want you want the ring or the bag so he i think that's the last time i've agreed and we we know i'm not even gonna dive deep into the content shit lord knows i know y'all hate that chat but i'm gonna just say hey we we know there's a place for him i'm not shocked he's there we know for we know for a fact. Hey, somebody got to bite the bullet. There's there's something to be in polarizing. There's something to be in hated. And hey, if he the dude that gonna say the shit, whenever ain't nothing cooking, I know why. He, hey, it's just unfortunate that he's not a person that can do that and then argue it to the core. He's just a person that will just say the shit and you just gotta live with it. Because because we talking about it right now. I I, I want to say again to add, he is another one of the older players that is shitting on the younger generation that makes. You know, people turned off on the younger generation. This is just yet another example. Again, everywhere you turn in NBA media, besides like, you know, JJ Reddick, uh, KG and Paul Pierce are, you know, K, I, rap, KG and Paul Pierce do a phenomenal job of bigging up the younger guys. Um, yeah, you know, right. Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes have gotten a little bit better. Um, but damn near everywhere we turn, uh, Q Rich and Darius Miles, they don't, they don't do too much in that regards like they, 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 yeah they they are oh yeah knuckleheads that's what that was oh knuckle first. okay yeah, yeah i love that, yeah, that, that first i've heard of knuckleheads i just yeah, i crazy. didn't piece it together I'm yeah don't they 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 champion the young guys all the time they're at the drafts you know they're, they're they're talking about uh young guys um all the time so i'm not gonna say it's all of them but but everywhere i turn it's just a lot of the nba players i want to play this one um Cause this was this was one, and again I've watched it. I've watched it. Let me go. I, I'll show you. I'll show y'all that I've watched. Yeah, this it. Is zero out of 12, 12, 21. I watched there the whole is. thing. I watched the whole thing. I watched some of these. This is about them. Well, I let Josiah explain. Right, so now let's talk a little bit about life after basketball. Friend of the program, Nick Young, dropped a video recently offering his thoughts. Life after the NBA is cold, my nigga. You gotta refine yourself. If anybody say this shit is fun, this shit ain't fun. Nah. It is a little different. Niggas, man, look at everybody. Man, look what niggas look like after the NBA. Niggas get fat. They lose their mind. Look look at that. Look at you. Look at this whole cast. Got a nigga with a crown on, a rusty crown on. Niggas just trying to catch a wave. It's crazy. If y'all want me to come to y'all and speak at y'all conferences and shit, I tell y'all, enjoy that shit. Enjoy the holes, the clothes, all that. I could say I so live, this dude, I live, I live a thousand years, but I'm telling you, when it's over, it's over. You have to become a a, a regular citizen again. You at home, you can't do the shit you used to do. You cheat now, it's over. Ain't no coming back. Don't cheat now, because you're going to lose it, because you're going to bring in the same amount you used to bring in. You know? You cheat now, it's over. Don't cheat now. I learned not to cheat. No. I'm a good man now. <laughs> Not too many niggas, niggas be saying that shit. I'm good see. now, um, boy. <laughs> shout out to Nick. I think he was at Target. Oh, Sock section, betting section, hard to tell, but looks like the local Target <laughs> mm. from the ceiling. You know what the irony of this is? Because you know I retired before him. 
right? He over, he with the Lakers and shit. He used to call me a bacon cake ass dude, right? Talking about you over there baking cakes, you a family man, right? Laughing, oh, look, you look miserable, all that. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, nah, that shit gonna hit you. He gonna hit you too, right? He played for the Lakers, so nah, he, yeah. he doing everything he wanted to do. You know, you got your Iggy, yeah, yeah, he having fun. <laughs> Uh-huh. Look at his ass now. Yeah. Uh-huh. He the corner in. You got the corners over here. You got the liquor store dudes over here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that shit hurt. <laughs> that shit hurt now, don't it, boy? Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, keep going on your iPhone. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Got your corner. Yeah, oh, shout out to my corner dude. <laughs> that shit kind of hard at the bottom, the little underdog shit. This video is sponsored by with the little yeah okay okay <laughs> shots fucking fired huh mm. ah damn Joe he was including you on the couch because you don't hear this motherfucker with us you should yeah, feel I, some I, type of fucking way I retired after college I saw the vision talking about the crown and all that everybody want to take shots man God he, 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 he ain't just on the couch too that's, that's he, a, yeah man damn that's how you feel yeah, you walk him into the arena. Little corner corner boys. There. See how the corner boys do? They'll stick you up the stick up kids. <laughs> <laughs> they literally stick up kids. He's uh, ready to give me your money. Give me all your money. It ain't the old days anymore. But Damn, Daniel, I'll start with you. What's the hardest part about going from being an NBA player to a regular <laughs> citizen? Now I want y'all to know Kenyon gives a great answer. I'm gonna fast forward to Rashard. Yeah. Um in this eating. I don't, <laughs> don't you, for me, it was yeah, we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Fine. We don't care. You just you know, occupy your time. Give a good answer. Give a good answer. So what's the hardest part about going from being an NBA player to a, a regular citizen? Gym, gym pop, as we call it. Man, <clears throat> didn't last long for me. You know what I'm saying? I've been broke all my life, so transition was very short-lived. And um, as far as being a civilian, I ain't never really ever been that. Never think I'm going to be that. Uh, the light shines on me very brightly. So regardless of material things, I move in a certain manner where people are always going to know when I walk in the room, I ain't no normal nigga. So, you know, I, I take oh, pride in that. So regardless of if it's the crown or an outfit or whatever it is, I'm going to stand out. And um, when you do, you know, find yourself, you know, not being able to be in the association no more, you got to associate yourself with something else. And I've always um, surrounded myself with other things and kept myself busy and just finished my fourth book. So, you know, things like that has always been able to <laughs> captivate me and keep me busy. So, you know, what Nick's saying, it, it makes sense for guys that don't got no real ambition. You know, you want to sit around and wait for things to happen for you just because you're a part of something. But for me, it's, I'm, I'm a make it happen type of motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a stand on business. So, you know, regardless if it's basketball, football, baseball, bowling, whatever, you know, with entertainment, tech, whatever, I try to keep my foot right in that door. So um, I don't really know nothing about it. I try to stay separate from from the civilian life and just being able to exist. And ain't nothing wrong with it, but it's just, I'm a creative and I like to be creative. So um, I'm always gonna stand on that. Look at Kenny Martin. Look at Kenny Martin and Gilbert Arenas. Look at these niggas' faces, y'all. Look at this nigga, bro. You know, uh, <laughs> going from an NBA player, <laughs> going from being Hibachi, look at Agent that, Zero, to Gilbert. Look at oh, just me personally or just general? Just personally, general. Look at these little niggas, bit bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, look this yo. nigga has been out the NBA since 2010. You've read four books? That's your accomplishment? I don't even know that nigga can name four it's, books. <laughs> <it's> 14 <laughs> years. This nigga wrote, he read four books in 14 no, years. I, well, I hope he meant wrote. Different. Not a different, I'm, I'm praying a different he meant wrote. I think he meant wrote to be I fair. hope he meant wrote. I hope he meant wrote. I think. <laughs> hey, I wrote a book. Y'all think he wrote a book? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm 90 percent sure he said. Did he it say wrong. right? Let, 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 let me go ahead. I finished my fourth book. I thought you said I finished my. He said I finished my fourth book. Rashard oh, McCants books. All right, hold on. Let's look these. Yeah, how, many books is it? how many books is it? Now this nigga <laughs> don't got three. What are we talking about? I see a, a Rashad. Wait, it's Rashard or Rashad? Rashad. 
Now this. Hmm. Oh wait, it's it's no R, no no R. He has a he has a book. I see he's written some books on Arthur Lee. Yeah, I think he has four. I think he has four. So he okay wrote four. Okay, that's yeah good. wrote wrote. I wrote, thought he wrote. said I thought he meant read. I need, to, me, I need people to understand. I thought he meant he read four books, nigga. I died. I this died on the inside. Book. Nigga, what? How many copies? This looks like one of them books. If you if y'all got a black mall in y'all neighborhood in y'all area, just for the, the books is in there. For the regional ones, yeah, this looks like a book out of the black bookstore in Greenbrier Mall, or <laughs> or you know the the Negro bookstore. In a look at how big the description is on the back. That's the back of the <laughs> that's book. The book. That's the back <laughs> of the book. <laughs> Nigga, that's the book. That's everything. In the book. <laughs> uh, nah, I mean he wrote the book, so I can't. Nah, I'm I'm not shocked he wrote the book. Man. I'm shocked that like bum to millionaire sage. Hold on now. Wait a minute. Wait a I'm minute. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to hear the oh at least he wrote for book logic. That niggas that niggas had nothing to do. So that dark ass time that that nigga look at this nigga's face. He looks like a crook. That dark time Nick Young was talking about where niggas don't know what to do. He just used that time to write a book. To write. Like, I'm That's not what I'm saying. like all his dark thoughts. I bet if you read some of these books, some twisted shit in one of these books. Some of these books get dark. I know when these books get dark. I don't. You don't even gotta read the book to me to know that this nigga. <laughs> books get dark because he was in a dark place writing these shits. Congrats, he wrote four books. I, hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. Congrats because he wrote four books. In my opinion, a lot of niggas can write four books. I'm just being honest. Coming from the father, coming from the son of a nigga who writes books. My dad writes books. Then she I met me. It's crazy too. <laughs> niggas write books. Not, <laughs> this not, nigga love him. Oh man. Love, love, like, what then do you think he was doing me. this time, bro? Crazy. He was just. He write by himself. Like, come on, man. Um, they sell McCann books at comic book stores. I bet they do. Because where are they selling these at? I just, I just, I just want to say, um, no romantic comedy. Because <laughs> again, he did all that, and nobody championed him. Like, I mean, uh, uh, like I said, King of Marvel. Was King, King was talking about depression. Like when he when he got into his, he was talking about depression, and you know some of the other talking points. I'm and this nigga, I ain't never been one of them. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we can't have a serious conversation. Let's just not have a serious conversation. He's I don't know. On business. He's a stand on business type of nigga, I guess. That, that nigga crown. literally typed on some <laughs> shit, like, like, like one hundred percent, like not even what like that side of our chat is. Fuck that. That nigga typed like a Twitter nigga with an anime happy <laughs> just now. Like that is ridiculous. That nigga <laughs> said, "Well, I've never been down bad. I'm never gonna be bad. I know I'm him. I know I'm him. Twenty four seven, three sixty five. I'm him when I walk in this motherfucker. I'm gonna stand out even if I wear a crown on my head." You're not even the most like contra- you're not even the most trendy nigga with a crown on his head. Sh- shout out, to- shout out to the Burger King dude. What the f- like, <laughs> like Burger King dude got it. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing, bro? I'm not, I'm not gonna act like I got more money than this nigga. We obviously talking about him, but damn, that was whack, bro. That was whack. I don't even need to explain how. That, that was, was awful. Cool. 